Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Iron Fist Wingman boots. So I thought I would do a review on these boots because when I was doing some research on them I couldn't find a whole lot of information on like the sizing and I know that Iron Fist sizing can be kind of weird. Um, usually I'm a size 8 in like everything but in their heels I'm a size 7 for some reason so I wasn't sure if I should size down in these or if I should go with my usual size. So just keep watching on some more information on that. So I bought these boots on the Blame Betty website. If you haven't been to that website definitely check it out. They have some really awesome stuff. Um, these were originally, I believe, $75, and they had a sale going on, so I got them for, like, I think it was $52 around there. And this is the box that they came in. Such a cute pink box with the hearts on it and everything. And then it has this cute tissue paper. It says Iron Fist on it. Again, with the little hearts. And then these are the boots. So this is what the boots look like. So it's basically like an ankle boot, but it has like this bat wing detailing on it and it kind of like wraps all the way around. And it has like just a little bit of a heel on it, like no major heel or anything. So the first thing I noticed when I opened these was the smell. I don't know what it is about Iron Fist shoes. I mentioned this um, when I did a review of the bat wing heels. Um, they just don't smell very good. It's kind of like a really gross like plasticky smell um, but I think usually that goes away so I think once I have them out for a while I think they'll stop smelling so gross so okay so now I'm gonna talk about sizing for these boots so like I said like I couldn't find a whole lot of information about the sizing for these boots so I just kind of took a chance and I got size 8 even though usually I'm a size 7 in their heels I decided to get a size 8 because I figured if they fit a little bit big it's better than them fitting small and I'm really happy that I got the size 8 they fit like totally perfectly um, so it says US 8, UK 6, um, or size 39. So I'm not sure if the sizing would be the same for all of their different types of boots, but definitely for these ones, um, I would say that they're true to size. So if you're ordering these online, just stick to whatever your regular size is. Another thing I wanted to say about these boots is that they are really hard to put on. Um, I kind of wish that they had like a zipper on the inside because it's just like really hard to get them on. Also I wanted to mention that the bottom doesn't have like a whole lot of grip to it so they're definitely going to be like slippery but there are some ways around that like you could put masking tape on the bottom or use sandpaper to make the bottom a little rougher and that way they won't be so slippery so that's not a huge deal. So now I'm going to show you guys what they look like on. Overall, it seems like these boots are really good quality, like they seem really well made, and they're also comfortable, which is important, especially if you're wearing them all day. I don't know if these boots are still available on the Blame Betty website, but I know that they have them at Dolls Kill and probably the Iron Fist website, so I'll put the links to those websites down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please leave any comments below, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video.